this is a photograph of me in 1988 when i was only 18 years old and i had never experienced any sickness in my life this next picture is of me at 25 years 2 years after i survived a nearly fatal bout of pneumonia but at this time i was also suffering from amebiasis an infection in the small intestines after drinking mountain water and that just did not get cured so easily with allopathy even with ayurveda and homeopathy and years went on till this next picture at uh, when i was 34 years in 2004 and at this time i was not only suffering from amoebic colitis but also irritable bowel syndrome blood toxicity internal heat skin allergies candidiasis which is fungal growth in the intestines and third degree piles which had to be operated now which of these three photographs do i look like today and what has happened to me since 2004 well after all the modern systems of medicine failed to cure me i switched to natural therapy and just in about a year and a half i was able to reverse all those illnesses that i mentioned and something else also happened on the way and it is called reverse aging now this happened because i followed some very important principles about food which i call the natural laws of nutrition and that is what i'm going to share with you today now nutrition is such a complex topic for the common man it is very difficult to understand what is the right kind of a diet for you but let me tell you that nutrition has got nothing to do with the mind or how well read you are it has got to do with an experience that you are having now if you look in nature at animals birds and reptiles you see them just going about their daily thing whether it's running around their territories playing with each other uh, in the mating game or just scouting the area and in the middle of all that life hunger happens automatically like a feeling in this part of the system of your body so i invite you imagine that i invite you to my home where i'm going to do this experiment with you on what is the real healthy diet for you because the bottom line is everybody wants to know you know what is the best kind of diet for me and uh, i tell you that Uh, i will offer you all the foods that you eat and even foods that you don't eat if you think they are healthy for you so you come over to my place in kandalim and you give me this long list of foods and uh, i give you a room of your own where you have all the facilities and even drinking water but no food because all the experiments on food are going to happen in my dining hall on a very long dining table So you come to my house at about three o'clock in the afternoon, and we just sit down and get to know each other for a while, have a long chat. And when it's about five o'clock, I ask you, "Are you hungry?" And you look at the time and say, "Yes, it's tea time." And how about some tea and some snacks? And I ask you again, "Are you really hungry?" Because hunger for me is not a time. on the wall or the clock and what i explained to you earlier that is what real hunger is now why does this happen it is the first law of nature which says that all beings who eat eat food only after they are hungry and from what i explained to you in the example that i gave you think about it and just check yourself and you don't feel those hunger pangs so you say okay i'm probably not hungry now because maybe you've eaten lunch at about 2 o'clock 
so we say okay let's do it when you're really hungry and about a couple of hours go and it's about eight o'clock and then you come to the dining table and you see everything elaborately laid out you see a platter of vegetables and fruits and nuts and beans and peas and you also see that there's a live chicken tied to the leg of the chair that is the ingredient of your chicken biryani you see a live flesh flopping flesh on its last few breaths that is the rachel bangra that you asked for you see a cut out chunk freshly cut out chunk of pork ribs and uh, that is the glazed pork ribs that you asked for now why have i done this because i'm following the second law of nature which says that god or nature or the cosmos or whatever you want to call it has provided for every being that eats food in its natural and unaltered state and that is what i've given you so you look at all of this and i tell you have a look at the pork once more and you see the detail of it there's skin there's hair there's mucus you see severed veins and arteries and fat and blood and the smell is quite horrible and you see take me away from that and now that you're feeling so hungry what what do you eat first you go to the other end and you pick up some fruits and when you pick up maybe your favorite mango you take in its fragrance and say wow eat it maybe you put down a couple of mangoes maybe some chikos and then as you're getting filled up your mind kicks in hey i need some protein where do you get that from and you pick up some nuts and some seeds and you're full up then so then we call it a meal and you go back to your room maybe you sleep or go to bed off at night and next morning when you get up you're really hungry again so you come to the dinner table dining hall and looking out for the food again you notice that there are no fruits or nuts because i've taken them away what is the next thing you're going to eat the vegetable edible vegetable what i call things like cucumber or tomato or carrot next to it there's also some broccoli some spinach but you don't feel like touching that right now and there are the grains rice wheat dals the live animals dead meat what do you eat obviously you go for the edible vegetables you make a meal of it the next time that you're hungry and you come back you don't see the edible vegetables also you just see the non edible vegetables you're staring at it for a while and thinking i've never done this before but there are no options so well you put down a few and satisfy that pain and hunger in your tummy maybe you don't eat a full meal the next time you're hungry and you come back even that's not there you're just seeing the dried grains the beans the kidney beans or rajma you say no way i can eat this i've never done it before so i play a national uh, geographic video for you where it shows primates when they're eating grains and hard uh, beans they put it in their mouth and they don't start munching it right away they keep it there for, for a few minutes and they soak it up and when it gets soft then they start eating it and so you get an idea for that and because there's no way out you try the same and it works for that time maybe you don't eat half a kilo maybe just 100 grams or 200 grams but your hunger is gone and uh, then you think about it and you know what's going to happen in the next meal and you're there and even the grains are not there this time and you say hey you know these are, these scenarios do not happen in life this is some twisted uh, experiment uh, that you're doing and i say you know my friend these are the simple seasons of the year you do not get fruits all throughout the year they come and they go and the vegetables come and they go and the grains come and they go and 
you have the next season coming but when something is not there we always do for the next you know with the next best thing so now you think about it and realize what's happening but you put your hands up and say no way i can't do the meet and i tell you i can eat meat but it must not look like meat can you please make it brown or orange or green it must not also smell like meat so could you please add the fragrance of some herbs i can eat meat but it must not taste like meat can you please put some spices and herbs into it and fool my tongue completely it must not even feel like meat not that soft and gooey pork ribs so can you please brown it up a bit and by the way also give me a fork and spoon so what is happening over here it is as per the next law of nature which says that the god given senses of every human being will tell them every time food is presented to them what is their food and what is not their food and so this whole thing makes sense to you now and i share with you the next law which says that you can only make the human body eat food not designed for it once you fool its five senses completely and this is what we do today with modern cooking i could even feed you poison today all that i have to do for you to eat it is just fool all, all of your five senses and you may drop dead from it tomorrow this is what we do with food today and why food has become our poison now working with uh, over a thousand doctors healers therapists and very very sick patients and hosting three conventions on mind body spirit medicine i have come to very clearly understand that 70% of all the chronic illnesses in society what you call lifestyle illnesses like high bp cholesterol diabetes obesity hormonal imbalance arthritis kidney problems liver problems they all come from eating the wrong kind of food or preparing food in the wrong way and so what i am saying is that 70% of all these foods i mean all these illnesses can get cured if you eat the right kind of food this is what edison said some time ago the doctor of the future will not treat the human body with medicines but will cure it through food and that time is now and the people who are going to do it are you because nobody else is doing it for you and you are all getting sicker by the day this is what i had to do in 2004 to save my own life and this is what i am asking you to do today for yourself it is not a very difficult job to do you know you already have all the senses you need for it thank you